Okay, next problem. Situation number three. The man is trying to push the homogeneous 20 kilogram ladder AD up a wall by applying the horizontal force C. The coefficient of static friction between the ladder and both contact surfaces is 0 0.3. Determine the smallest value of T that would the ladder that would move the ladder. Determine the reaction at A. Determine the reaction at B. So first step, i-drawing yung free body diagram. So I assume na sanay na kayo mag-drawing ng free body diagram. So first, meron ka dito normal at A. Then, meron ka dito normal at And then, so yung motion ng ladder is pinush daw natin siya going to the left. So ibig sabihin, yung motion ng ladder sa baba is going to the left. So kailangan, ang kukontra sa kanya is yung friction that is frictional force at A which is equal to 0 0.3 Na, no? yung mu and A. And then, kung going to the left naman yung bottom ng ladder, so, ibig sabihin, going to the up naman, upward naman yung nasa taas. So, ang kukontra sa kanya is yung frictional force sa B. So, opposite the motion. So, that is 0 0.3 N. And then, yung weight ng ladder na hindi yan papakabog, nandiyan lagi yan. 20 times 981 So, mag-act yan sa gitna ng ladder. So, kung dito nasa gitna yan, so this is 1, this is 1, that's ito, this is 2.5, 2.5. Pero hindi na kailangan. First step, para makuha natin yung reaction sa bawat point ng ladder, so ako, ang ginagawa ko dito, nagmo-moment ako dito, no? so ipaproject ko to, si weight saka si force. Tapos, kukunin ko yung intersection ng dalawang, Okay, ulit, balik tayo. Ayan, so, again, no, yung weight natin ay mag-a-act sa mag-a-act sa gitna. No? So, next kong step na gagawin is mag-moment ako sa O. No? I-name ko ito as point O. Summation ng moment at O is equal to 0. Taking clockwise positive. Ano ni mga forces na umiikot sa kanya? First, nandiyan dyan si NB. No? NB multiplied by the moment arm na. Kung 1.5 siya from the bottom, so ibig sabihin that is 1.5 from the, sorry, 3.5 from the top. Okay lang. Minus 0.3 NB. No? Si 0.3 nd ay magpaproduce ng counterclockwise. So, minus, multiplied by the moment arm na 1. Minus, si na magpaproduce ng counterclockwise. So, that is na multiplied by 1 din. Minus, 0.3 na. No? Si na magpaproduce ng counterclockwise. That is, times 1.5. So, we have equal to 0. So, na so that is equal to calculate lang natin negative 1 minus 0.3 times 1.5 that is negative sorry negative 1.45 and B Ay, and A pala sorry plus 3.5 times 
one time oh, sorry three point five minus point three times one around three point two and a equals to zero and and the pala and a and b dapat okay lang next summation naman tayo ng forces vertical summation ng forces vertical is equal to 0 assuming upward positive ano yung mga forces upward hindi dyan si n a minus 0 0.3 n b and then minus ay transpose ko na lang i have 20 times 9.81 so we have the first equation second equation so what's the value of n a and n b so calculate the mode 5 1 that is negative 1.45 3.2 0 1 negative 0.3 20 by 9.8 so that is equal to 227 2 to 7.07 or 2 to 7 point zero six nine six seven newton and then for N B that is equal to one oh two point eight ninety newton and then ang f of a equal to sa f um, multiply lang natin sa coefficient of friction so mode 1 that is 2 to 7.067 times 0.3 you will get 68.201 newton then 0 0.3 times 102.89 30.867 newton. So the RA and then RB. Now, ang formula natin dyan, the resultant is equal to the normal force squared plus the frictional force. So how to solve for the resultant? That is 227.067 squared plus 68.201 squared. That is equal to 237.088 newton. Then next, next, 102.890 squared plus 30.867 squared. That is equal to 107.420 newton. So this is the resultant at A and resultant at B. Okay lang. And next, how to solve for P? So, syempre, summation lang ng forces horizontal, no? Summation ng forces horizontal is equal to zero. Assuming to the right, positive. Ano ni mga forces to the right? Nandiyan si NB plus si FF A B. Therefore, P Ayan, no? So, punta tayo dito, how to solve for P, and yung mga forces to the right, and yung NB, that is equal to 102.890 plus 68.201. So, the P is equal to, calculate nyo lang, 102.890 plus 68.201. That is equal to 171.091 Newton. Okay, so begin on time to screenshot or copy.